guys. I am here with baby boy chilling in the car while my husband goes to grab his birth certificate. Well, hopefully grabs his birth certificate. Why does my camera look like this? We need his birth certificate in order to add him into my husband's health insurance. So hopefully we can get that today. It's been a morning, y'all. Like getting out the house with a newborn is such hard work, especially like early morning. We left at eight in the morning, and that was a mistake because we hit a bunch of rush hour, and we were stuck in traffic for like an hour. It was just, it's just been very chaotic this morning, and baby boy is not having it. Luckily, he slept while we were stuck in traffic, so that wasn't a big deal. But he promptly woke up, and has not been having it ever since he woke up it's understandable you want to be home right i want to be home too we're all so tired last night was another rough night i feel like i could say that every time i vlog if you have kids then you understand like especially with newborns it's just it's just rough at night so i don't know if we're going to end up doing what we wanted to do today but we're still going to enjoy it yay we got your certification of birth This, this Target trip was a complete fail, but we got pizza! Do you want your cheese pizza in? I got pepperoni, because that's the best. We also got a little avocado buddy for Nathaniel. How cute! It's Coke. <laughs> what is this? You're in the frame. Your Small slice pizza. of pizza. I know. Honestly, the majority of these things are for Nathaniel. We got some boogie wipes for his little boogers. Nail clippers for Nathaniel. A little hairbrush for him as well. My husband snuck this in. So a good. big bag of candy. And then I picked up another Taylor Jenkins read book, Carrie Soto is Back. Honestly, I hate hardcover books, but this one was 30% off, so I decided to pick it up. And yeah, that's our little Target haul. Again, half... Coke. yeah, I got the Coke. Oh. Half of the things that we wanted, like the PS5 controller, weren't even in stock. So, not the most successful Target trip, but you know what? It was still a good one. Nathaniel slept the whole time. Beautiful. You know, it's all good. All good for now. Now we're gonna eat some pizza. Getting buckled in for our first family road trip. <laughs> He's not having it, you guys. <laughs> We're off on our first a little family road trip. Hopefully this guy doesn't freak out too bad. We decided pretty last minute, well actually my husband decided, <laughs> pretty last minute, yet yeah, last night, to go visit his brother in Tallahassee, Florida, which is like three hours away from Tampa. But it should be really fun. We're gonna take breaks on the way we're actually gonna go visit a barnes and noble along the way that's like that has two floors so that should be fun but we want to make some stops along the way to give baby boy a break from the car seat but it should be fun and we're on our way to pick up my husband's mom so it's gonna be like a little family weekend and his brother will get to meet nathaniel for the very first time which is really exciting I know we haven't seen him since we moved to Tampa even though he lives in Florida but like I said he lives in Tallahassee so it's three hours away and you know life just gets busy who has time to drive three hours the only time yeah so our last little hurrah before my husband goes back to work on Monday really fun though how do you uh, like driving are you ready to drive for like six hours i'm gonna go 140 up in here <laughs> baby no you're not baby on board <laughs> they stay out for me they watch out for me that's gonna be lit <laughs> lit 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 get some on 14 minutes
to another vlog. I just finished getting ready for the day. It is Thursday, June 15th. I can't believe June is already like halfway done. It's mind blowing to me how summer is officially here. Like I know it doesn't officially start till next week, but summer has arrived. Today I thought I would vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to get up to today. I know that I have to get a lot of work done today. I have to film two videos and a couple shorts. My husband's actually home today. So I'm using this opportunity to get as much work done today as I can since when he's off at work during the day, it's really hard for me to film content with a newborn. Also, I don't really want to film content with a newborn just because I want to be as present as I possibly can with him and just make sure that my full attention is on him. But today, like I said, my husband's home, so I have extra help and I can get some work done. So that's what the plan is going to be today and I'll show you guys what else we get up to today because it's not all going to be work. It's gonna be a little bit of fun as well. You can see it so fun. Don't laugh at our baby. We got a little fan for the stroller and it's not working out so well. Yeah, I gotta fix it. Just got our groceries delivered and I'm going to quickly show you guys what we got this week. We got some juice. I've been really craving lemonade and I meant to order lemons to make our own lemonade, but I completely forgot. So I'm glad I picked this one up. Then we got some cranberry pineapple, sparkling cider for Father's Day, coffee creamer, lettuce, some oranges, some chips, toilet paper, bread, eggs, flour tortillas, butter, pineapple, bananas. We got some steak, bacon, chicken, pasta sauce, spaghetti, tuna, corn, tomato sauce, peanut butter and jelly, beans, avocado, we got cilantro, some cinnamon rolls. I feel like I tried out this brand a few years ago and I didn't really like it, but I saw it on Amazon Fresh today and I decided to give it a chance since it is organic, but I can't remember if I liked it or not. I feel like I didn't, so we'll see tonight how these go. Got ham, cheese to make some sandwiches, sasson, onions, lemon, red pepper, avocado, fave bagel. So this is basically our grocery haul for the week. Now it's time to put everything away. Fun part. Just filmed a book unhaul video. I'm going to get rid of this pile of books. Let me know in the comments below of any apps where I can maybe sell these books. I also want to see if my local library to zoom in we'll take them or maybe a local thrift store i don't know i've never really gotten rid of books before i've always just held on to them but i want to make room for new books and i know that every book in this pile i'm never going to read again or even think about so i might as well get rid of them and hopefully someone else will enjoy them but yeah let me know in the comments below of any apps or any places that take books for me to drop these off and get rid of them Happy Father's Day! Your first Father's Day, how does it feel? Happy Father's Day! Daddy, I love you, Nathaniel! He doesn't say anything about that one. No, he's not having it. Oh my god, he looks so big! It is an amazing feeling. Now we just need one more child. One more? I thought we were having three. Three more jobs. Two more jobs. Get in the shot, get in the shot. Little family picture! He's like, get me out of here right now. Creep. I'm cold. Good morning, little one. He's gonna get his gaming on. 
Yeah. He's already starting young. No, baby, he's not gonna. Dun, 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 dun. Head axe. <laughs> dodge. Dodge. <laughs> That's how my husband keeps hey, him quiet. This is my secret. Yeah. He this bounces on. information. Baby. He bounces him on my birth ball. Yeah. And then he games while I film, clean, cook, and do all the things that I need to do. But anyways, good morning, you guys. I'm about to make some breakfast. Wow, it's really dark in our apartment right now. It's 8 in the morning, but we've been up for a while because Nathaniel had a rough night. He, well, he went to sleep from 9.30 p.m. until 1 a.m., which was great, that stretch. But then he woke up at 1, I fed him, changed his diaper. He woke up at 2, pooped, I changed his diaper. Then woke up at 3 and was not having a good old time. I think he had gas. We were up for him, with him trying to like get the gas out, trying to calm him down, trying to get him to go back to sleep, and it just didn't work out. Um, so we were all like in and out of sleep since three in the morning. But we're officially up now, and I'm going to make some breakfast because we're both starving. I'm gonna make some eggs with bacon. It's like the perfect rainy morning. It's even thundering and I'm loving the vibes. I love when it rains in the morning or in general. I love the rain. And it makes me so happy because it barely rained in Tampa. Guys, can you hear the rain right now? It is so peaceful. Like I'm so happy. It very rarely rains in Tampa and if it rains, it rains for like five minutes and then the sun comes back out. And I don't know if this is like if I'm weird or not, but I love the rain. One of the things I miss about living in Boston was that it would rain all day sometimes. And in Florida, in Tampa specifically, it doesn't do that. Like it's very rare for us to have like a whole rainy day. And it makes me so sad because before I moved to Tampa, everyone told me that it would rain all the time and that turned out to be a lie. Raining for five minutes is not enough in my opinion. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a book that I finished last night. I finished Twisted Games by Anna Huang. This is the second book in the Twisted series and I think it put me in a reading slump. I struggled to finish this book. It took me a few days to get through it and at first I was really enjoying it. Like I love Bridget's character. I love how sassy she is. I love that she's a princess and that she's going to become a queen and this book is basically her struggle of becoming a queen because that's something that she never wanted to do nor did she ever expect to become a queen. I like that aspect of her character and really enjoyed her character development but I just didn't really care for her relationship with Reese. I honestly think I'm so over the grumpy man trope because it just feels so repetitive and Reese reminded me a lot of Alex from the first book and the fact that he was super grumpy, super possessive, super territorial and I don't know if it's because I've read so many books with like the grumpy sunshine trope that I'm over it but I just didn't really like his character all that much like I liked him more than I liked Alex because I feel like Alex from the first book is low-key a psychopath Reese is definitely not he's just overproductive towards Bridget and a little territorial but I just didn't really care for his character and I didn't really care for their relationship I didn't really believe in their love I felt like they were more sexually attracted to one another to one another than anything else I also feel like I'm over spicy book. They all just get so repetitive after a while and so cringy. I just, I don't know, I wanna focus on wholesome romance books from now on. Actually, I think I'm going to take a break from romance books for a bit and then get into maybe some closed door romances because the spicy smut romances are just not too much for me. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't enjoy this book as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to continue the series. Are the other men in the series as 
possessive and territorial as Alex and Reese. Like I'm over the grumpy territorial main male character. Like I'm over it. I need a break. It makes me really sad. And I don't know if I didn't enjoy this book because I'm over the trope or I know that I need a break from romance books that maybe I should have just DNF'd this book for now and it gone back to it at a later time. Maybe I would have enjoyed it more if I had done that because the book isn't bad and I definitely see why people like it. I'm just personally over the tropes that were in this book and that makes sense. So yeah, that's just my thought on it. And now I feel like I'm in a reading slump because I don't know what other books to read that are not romance. I need to go to Barnes and Noble and pick up some new books that are not romance. Maybe pick up some thrillers or fantasy. I feel like I'm in a fantasy mood, so. We'll see. The month is almost over and I've only read four books. <laughs> but that's okay. Every month can't be an amazing reading month, you know? Time to pick on an outfit for my sweet little guy. What should he wear today? You ready for an outfit change? <gasps> Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, you little wiggly monster. Oh, no, you don't like changing clothes. But you need to change your clothes. I know. First, we gotta put one arm through. Yeah. Ah, we got one arm done. Now you just put your second one. A second one. Can we put the second one? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Okay. Come on. Give me that little arm. Oh, good job. Good job. Now we gotta roll to the side a little. Yay, roll back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My little boy. How are you? Hi. Hi, my baby. Hi, my baby. Hi, my baby. You're so cute. Hi, sweetie. He doesn't want to cuddle to you. Hey. He's laughing at you. You need to go. Go, go, yes, yes. Lauren took his couch and got to kick out to eat. City Mouse had a bright pink chandelier while Country Mouse slept under the stars bright and clear. Now those who disown you to save their own hut.